Yes. Um, so you mentioned a few uh, blockades for the potential uh, resolution of the conflict. And you also mentioned earlier, um, in terms of the narrative that's been propagated as uh, defense uh, against the uh, cumulative and numerous assaults on Gaza, the appeal to the right to defend itself as a state. Um, is possibly one of the questions I want to pose, or the question I want to pose is, is the manner in which information itself uh, is propagated to is the Israeli uh, citizenry, uh, as well as the members of the IDF, uh, as well as you know the international community, one of the major blockades? You, I mean, you're pretty much appealing to the idea that this appeal to self-defense is factually baseless and propped mm -hmm. up. Um, is there a way to resolve this potential fourth obstacle, which is just a faulty means of propagating that information? You never know with people. You don't know how much of it is they're victims of illusion, whether these are convenient illusions uh, and they, it's, it's very hard to figure these th things out. What I think, in my opinion, is clear is with all the information in the world, they're not going to leave because they have no incentive to leave. Uh, so even if I were to agree with you that a certain amount of the Israeli recalcitrance, their tenacity, even if part of it were due to the fact that the population was ill-informed, had been uh, tricked and duped, manipulated by ruling elites, uh, even if I were to grant that, I would still say that even if they had completely accurate information and were completely aware of the facts, they would not leave. If I can ask yeah. I don't believe they would leave. Uh, so uh, in which case, uh, your suggestion... For, uh, by the way, just let me add, you couldn't get them to believe the facts. That's one of the problems. Uh, if you sit down on the... And I do, I talk to Israelis, and you say, well, there's this fact and that fact and that fact, and they'll just say it's propaganda. So you, you couldn't even penetrate... Uh, Israelis still believe, don't ask me how or why, they still believe theirs is the most moral army in the world. Every time you know, they come out, how dare the UN have an investigation of us? Ours is the most moral army in the world. And people, they really believe it. So you can, you can inundate them with 10,000 human rights reports. And it won't make a difference. So I, I don't believe the problem is informational. I don't believe the problem is uh, psychological. The problem is material. You've got to get them to pay a price.